Okay, we have Elliot Lou here who just won again. Yes. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Nine out of nine. And nine out of nine. Uh, one match and he's gonna talk about his game with Robbie Adamson. Okay. Uh, so Robbie's a really good friend of mine. And once again I, I got lucky and my my prep was good. So I had the uh, position on the board at home up to move nine. Where, where Black and made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So, did you expect our con? No, this is all prepped already. I didn't, have, I didn't think until move uh, 10. Okay, so here actually it's important. So, so the way I knew he played this line was I actually found an online blitz game that he played back in 2013. So that's the only reason why I knew he played this setup actually. So uh, in that game he went knight to d7, which I think is, is slightly better. Uh, but pawn takes pawn is perfectly fine as well. G3, and, and, and here besides bishop g6, black can also go b5 if possible. Bishop g5. And here he makes uh, a slight inaccuracy, which might, I, I wouldn't say it's the losing move, but it um, definitely puts him in a, in a bad spot. So, so the correct move here is queen to b6. It's, it's, a, it's a very sharp line overall. The line goes queen to b6. Bishop takes c4, knight d7, castle, uh, queen side castle. Not knight c8. Uh, rook e1. Queen takes b2. Mm. Knight c e4. No, excuse me, knight, knight g e4. Uh, bishop takes knight. knight. Knight takes bishop. Knight takes e5. <coughs> rook b1. Queen takes d4, queen b3, or rook d7, bishop a6, queen b6, uh, bishop takes b7, uh, rook takes b7, knight d6, king c7, knight takes rook, queen takes queen. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen, f6, and knight a5. So I had this at home, um, and so I was hoping he'd be able to go into this line, but uh, it, it's just much better for white. And um, yeah, so th there was some good home prep here. Uh, other options, so go back to move. Um, 11 or yeah go to move 11 no no, no in, in, in the variation so oh, excuse me so actually go to move 13 in this variation if he goes knight takes e5 immediately then a really cool shot rook b1 queen a3 bishop c1 uh, queen a5 Queen b3, we're moving the pin, and white's winning. Wow. <coughs> uh, and then instead, it go back to move 10 in this variation. So queen takes b2 is another possibility here, immediately. And the point is, white goes knight ce4, uh, cutting the bishop from protection of, of the b1 square, so rook b1 is not threatened. And if he goes queen b4, check. Then bishop b uh, d2 wins because the queen takes bishop knight d6. Okay, so anyway, queen b6 is the, is the correct move here, but he went queen a5. And uh, I think black is already much worse um, because the queen needs to be on b6 to put pressure on white's d4 and b2 pawns. 
Um, so I, I think it's fairly straightforward here. So bishop takes pawn, uh, knight d7, logical. Castle is also logical. Uh, rook d8, I thought he had to castle here, queenside. It, it's, very, it's very thematic to castle queenside uh, in this line. Yeah, that's what move computer likes for him. Uh, like, yeah. So rook d8. So the problem with, with, with this move is um, <coughs> he's in a bunch of knots and he, he's too slow to untangle before I get a knight, knight to d6. So I completely forgot that I can go knight e4 here, like the computer correctly says. Yeah, but it's um, so best computer line here is knight c4. The second best is knight c2. Yeah, and I, I actually remember. Uh, Briefly looking at this, but I completely forgot in the game, and uh, so I, I guess I played the second best move, queen e2. Yeah, second or third, which is like significantly worse than knight c4 by yep. half a point. Uh, knight b6 again forced. If he doesn't go knight to b6, it's just basically over. Mm -hmm. um, and, and here I felt like I had a tough choice of which knight to put on on e4, either the, the c knight or the e knight. Um, I rejected knight c to e4 <coughs> because I didn't like the fact that he could trade queens. At least I thought he could trade queens. So if, if I go knight c to e4, then he takes on c4 and goes queen d5. Yeah, uh, yeah sorry. And I, I didn't like the fact that I was queens for no reason. I mean, if you're the attacker, you want to keep the queens on. So therefore, I decided knight, knight, knight g4 is more logical. So actually, like, let me pause it for a second. So uh, my engine likes rook f to d1 here, with the second best move being rook a to d1. And the move that you played is fourth on the list here. The computer thinks position is about equal here, actually. I mean, if it's equal, great, but I would, I would take white any day. Yeah, yeah. This, so, this just looks really bad. So, so, so engine recommends taking the bishop. Yeah, no, I, I thought he had to, to take everything and play queen d5, of course. I mean, I, I don't know what else he'd do, to be honest with you. He's, he's going to end up sacking the exchange. So, so the line is exactly what the computer is saying. So take on c4, take on e4 to create a d5 square, queen d5, take, rook takes, knight d6, and rook takes d6. This is, this is what he had to do. Because once the queen's off, this ending isn't so easy. Um, my pawn on d4 is very bad, and I, I think he has definitely a holding chances here for a draw. So obviously, I, I can play forever, but it's it's not easy at all. Yeah. So here it's plus point seventeen from engine. Let's go back to the game. So the problem is, if if, if he doesn't give the exchange, then he's just losing. So. Um, well, if he doesn't give the exchange and to get queens off, so he, he thought he was able to do that, but unfortunately, um, the line he played didn't quite work out. So queen to b4, and, and here, uh, I guess I'm looking at the machine and it says pawn to b3. I didn't even consider that move. That looks completely inhuman, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, it, it, that move didn't even enter my mind for one second. Is that the way you 